Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, October 18th. You're here at the um, Chaos DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group Meeting. I'm Elizabeth. Good to see everybody here. As always, I love this meeting. We always have such awesome people who come to this meeting. It's so great. Um, Matt just dropped the minutes in here. So, um, oops. There. Mary Blessing, I'm gonna mute you, okay? Cause we're getting some background noise from you. Um, oops, let me just share my screen. This is the window, but it's going to be, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, so please add your name, tell us your favorite kind of music if you have one. Um, I know I, I like a lot of different kinds, so yeah, you can also, I think that's valid. Um, yeah. All right, let's get started. I'm looking to see, I don't see Anita on the call today. And she's been, I think, the one working mostly on this. Uh, Matt, was were you working on this with her? Do you have any thoughts on this? I don't have any updates. So. Okay. Do we think it's like ready to go? I don't know. Let's look at it really quick. I guess we should probably wait for Anita. Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. I mean, it's looking like just structurally, it looks pretty good. You yeah, know? yeah, it does. Well, we'll just put it out here. If people do have time and, oh my goodness, look at all these things. Uh, if people do have time and they want to take a look at this and offer suggestions or um, comments, you're welcome to do that. And then next week, maybe we'll touch base with Anita and see uh, for if it's ready to go. Uh, okay, the next thing on our list is accessibility update, and I don't see Yiga or Victoria on here. Um, so, okay, we can skip that one too. <laughs> We're just going to blow through all these. That's great. Uh, that's that's the kind of meeting I like. <laughs> you, just, you just blow right through it. Um, okay. So I, I would put this on here. I just wanted to let everybody know we are now actively working on the onboarding courses for those who aren't familiar with what we're doing here. Um, these are gonna be kind of two sets of course courses. We're setting up a Moodle instance, which Sean has been kind enough to do. And we're gonna have basically learning modules on all of the chaos things so that people can kind of have a better feel for <laughs> what all is going on in chaos. They can. Um, digest little smaller chunks of information instead of these onboarding calls that were an hour long of just a fire hose of information. Um, and then we're also going to add some uh, open source 101 um, resources there as well for folks who are brand new to open source, since we do have quite a few of those in our community. And we know there's a lot of stuff out there already, so we, we don't want to, uh, you know, duplicate efforts, but we think that there might be some gaps in some of that that education. So this is where the um, project board is going to go and where I think the um, the resources are going to go before they go to Moodle. We'll probably just house them here instead of like Google Docs hidden in a drive. So we figured we would just try this here and see how it goes. Okay. So that's where that's going to happen. You can watch this repo if you're interested in following along with the project. Um, Peculiar is on the call. She's one of the project managers. Um, Peculiar, do, is there anything you want to add to this or say about it? Okay, we uh, hi, Elizabeth. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. Okay, you've said it all. We've uh, we talked about this yesterday during the meeting, and uh, we went through go went through uh, what the meeting we had and uh, what we achieved. Um, and uh, about setting up uh, the repo, then we had uh, the docs for a form to get volunteers to record the uh, the videos that's for each course, and then we also have uh, going to have editors. So the form we've not been able to we can't share it out now until we get. Uh, uh, approved for the form so we can get a lot of volunteers to help us for those courses and um we also talked about how uh, the the that we have also prepared a sheet 
for all the courses we need. So we're going to also share that out. Then yesterday was so uh, when talked about uh, uh, that the courses shouldn't be just only what uh, the content of what we do on yours. It's going to be general open source uh, uh, courses. That's what we'll be also working on. And then for the report, we're going to have uh, the project board that will help us track for any board, uh, track all the assigned tax when we, after the, uh, after getting volunteers. So that's all that we have for now. So we wait for the next meeting with you, Lisbeth, so we can then know the way forward and assess the form and confirm before we can share it out to folks out there. Thank you. Sounds perfect. Do people have comments or questions on this? I have one question mm -hmm. peculiar. I think we we were talking about having the courses be narrated by different people. Have you, you started thinking about who might narrate those or who has an interest? Yes, I've just mentioned that too. I think we lost you peculiar. Okay, I said I mentioned that too. Oh, you mentioned it too. Yeah, so that'll be that'll be on the form, Matt. So oh, that, oh, that the is form the form. form. That's the yeah. oh, okay. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, so yeah, the volunteer okay. is to like narrate the okay. Narrate video, anything that they okay. are interested in participating in. We're gonna just like kind of ask them like what okay. kind of tools they have access to. Like if they're gonna do video stuff, do they have tools? Can they, you know, what's their experience? I got you. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. It does. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then um, peculiar, is there anything that you're feeling like you need that you're not, that you don't have access to that would help? Okay. For now, for now, nothing. You're just waiting for the form. So we're going to share it out to get folks that are interested in recording these videos, mostly for those in charge of it, uh, some projects and other things that we need. So uh, okay. just that form that we're waiting for. And we might need your input on the form to, so that we can be able to uh, get all that we needed to get, yeah. Thank you. And I think y'all are waiting on me for that because I think the form is done. I think that they're just waiting on me to look at it and say, yeah, that looks yes. good. Yes. Okay. So I will do that, I promise. <laughs> I promise I will, it's on my list. Um, yeah, any other questions or comments? All right, I guess we can move on. Um, next thing on our agenda is the event badging update. I'm not sure who put this on. This was me, okay. yeah, this, I put this on here. So I was curious, Elizabeth, you and I had talked about like the event badging website when we were in all things open. Yeah. And just kind of where we're at with that. I'm curious. And then also, I think you were looking for project managers for event badging. Is that correct? Yeah, I think we are in need of one for the website, not for like the badging. For the website, sorry. Yeah, just okay. for the website itself. So um, we okay. just put that out here in this meeting, right? And just see if there's anybody on this meeting that's interested. We can also check with the project managers because I missed the Monday meetings since I was traveling. Okay. So we can also ask. So do we do we know where the, wasn't the website you had explained it to me intended to kind of help the workflow of yeah. application? Is that yeah. it? Yeah. Just because... said you would like to volunteer. Okay, yeah. There you Thank go. You. <laughs> Thank you. You're on the list now. <laughs> um, yeah. So right now, if you look at the badging, uh, you have like our event organizers have to come to the chaos website. They click on badging. They do this. They fill out the stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. When they hit yeah. submit, they still have to like log into GitHub, copy and paste, and they create the issue. It's really kind of clunky. It's not super okay. smooth. 
So the new badging website was meant to be way more uh, streamlined and easier for yep. them to just like it will just magically happen. The GitHub issue will open and I think it still will require a, an account from them, but that's mm -hmm. all like it's they won't have to copy paste, do all that stuff. So, yeah. So, so we're we trying to link the account to the GitHub login right now. <laughs> Well, this is a different this is a different site, Sean. This is okay. um the event badging, which they have been working uh, on for a while for like uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I he, see. I I I misread the order of the lines. Yeah. When you're dyslexia. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. So do we know where this is at and what kind of do we have do we have the site available or is it That's more yeah, I actually don't know. I know that they had been working on it in Figma. But as far as like yeah. implementation of it, I don't know. And okay. I don't think Kingsley's on here. So so maybe we can Ooh, have Yeah, I was gonna say who owns the the um Figma. Kingsley as the tech okay. lead does. So maybe we can task Shidalu and Hamza to like connect with Kingsley. But I can I can let's see here. I'm gonna make it an action item for me to um ask. Oops. Well, there we go. Uh, this is, I will put me as the, because I don't think either of these folks have a lot of context around that website stuff. So I'll bring them up okay. to speed on what that's all about. And then okay. as far as the um, badging bots go um, for events, um, I know Edinka has been amazing and um, wrote a peculiar as well of, um, or sorry, we have this bot script down here. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking of two different bots. Edinka and Peculiar have been doing the badging bot and I know they have regular meetings. So they've got teams of folks working on this. Um, it's not just Enoch anymore. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so we have other folks that know what's going on with that. So, um, so that's really good. Okay, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of those um like requests come across so i don't know if Edinka or peculiar i know peculiar is on i don't know if there's any updates there as to what's been changing with the bot but that's okay too yeah we can get an update okay if there is one. So it seems like the biggest thing would be to, of the two, like kind of get the website sorted out a little bit. Yeah, because the badging bot seems to be pretty stable. Like there was a little bit, mm -hmm. there was a few, you know, times when it kind of went down on us, but I, it's been pretty stable, I think. Yeah. And we haven't had any issues with it. So, um, okay. You would know. You, I mean, you see it a lot. Yeah, I know that they are looking for um, folks to um, kind of own this bot script and the bot script is the thing that keeps the badging bot going. I think if I understand that correctly from Eddie Inca. So I don't think anybody's actively maintaining that besides Enoch. So they were looking some for some volunteers for that. But I don't know if okay. anybody in this group would be interested in helping out with that or Okay. We'll throw it out there. And I'm not really even sure what needs to be done with that. It, that would be something you'd have to connect with Eddie Inca and Peculiar on, because I don't know. Okay. Okay, thanks. Cool. All right, um, project badging updates. I'm guessing that was also you, Matt? That was me, and I know we talked about it last week, but for those that weren't on the call last week, um, if you just scroll down to last week's minutes, like I just wanted to point out that we had separated the DEI.md file into two different uh, DEI.md files. Just one is a template for people. Like it's just, it's kind of an empty template that you could use. And then one is a guide on how to do it. The prior DEI.md file kind of had everything collapsed into one. <laughs> like here's the template and here's the guide. And so we work to kind of separate those out a little bit. So the template is just like just a template. You know what I mean? It's just easy to to go copy and paste this into your own DEI.md file. And then the guide kind of talks you through how you might think about filling out that template. That's it. 
And so thanks for everybody for your feedback and comments on that. But I did just want to point that out. It might be easier for folks. And then I do think we have also with the project badging, um, another group that's kind of going through the testing of, um, of actually putting together a DEI.md file. Who was it again? Was it Elizabeth? Django, I believe. The Django project. Yeah. So yeah. So we have um, a couple who are putting it together that will help us kind of in like put together that template and guide a little better. You know, as they're building the D their own DEI.md file, they're like, it might have been nice to know yeah. whatever, whatever little tip, tip or trick, and that we can include that in the guide. So thanks, thanks to them for helping out. And, the, and she came last week, Sarah did. Um, I don't think Sarah's yep. here, but yeah. So if you see that name around, that's who that is. Matt, I think this is really nice. This is the first time I've seen this, so I haven't had a chance to review it in depth, but okay. uh, it, it's a nice structure. Thanks. <laughs> it took a little while to like, you know, taking one document and turning it into two. It's like, <laughs> it's always a little funny. Um, but if you have any comments, of course, just let us know. Not a problem. Well, I think one thing I like about this is that it does seem to represent a distinct, a distinctly different area than pure code of conduct, because that's one of the things I've been thinking about as I've been refreshing some of our own internal templates. I have a code of conduct already. And as I was reading that and reviewing it, I thought, well, a lot of this does sort of go toward DEI. So I was thinking about it with the context of how do I make this more DEI? And you've got some really nice options in here. Perfect. Great. And this is, yeah, so this is what, you know, we're kind of, as you, I think you you know for sure that we're moving towards asking projects to include a DEI.md file that would do exactly what you're talking about, Rhea. Like, kind of keep code of conduct as code of conduct and then other practices that you're doing inside of your project, like bring those forward through this DEI.md file. Anybody have any other comments or questions about these two files if you haven't seen them? Or haven't seen them recently. I need to read them more in detail. I've only just skimmed them here in the last two minutes, but <laughs> maybe I'll have comments later. <laughs> That's fair enough. And we also did, just for those who don't know, some of our samples that we had provided in the our older files were pretty chaos centric. And as we know, chaos is kind of a, a little bit of a unicorn project. So um, yeah, so we tried to make them a little bit more applicable to just your kind of standard software project that would be open sourced. So um, the samples are a little bit different. I think you also had that um, feedback to Ria. Uh, several others had that feedback this as well. So yeah. That will mm -hmm. definitely help make it more applicable and yeah. easier to adapt. Yeah. All right. And then the only other thing on project badging is I think I haven't seen anything yet, but I, I do think there are people from uh, GitLab working on ways to include um, like login for GitLab and for GitLab based projects to also include a DEI.md file. You know what I mean? And then do the scan on, on the GitLab platform, not just GitHub. So when I see those contributions, that's awesome. And, you know, thanks for folks doing that. So I'm not sure what you're, you're scanning to see if the file, yeah. so, the document file is there. And then what do you do with that information? Uh, you get a badge. So basically, so you would, so you would put the DEI.md file in, if you go back to the guide, Elizabeth. Let's go back to the guide. There we go. Okay. So. There are a couple of things I think to sort out here. So one is um, there, and we we could never solve this in the way we were thinking about project badging. So there are situations where kind of in the GitHub context, an org represents the entirety of a project. So like chaos, the chaos org is kind of the entire open source project. And then there are situations where the org 
kind of represent something more meta and the projects are actually the repositories underneath that org. And so like VMware had done that. They had the VMware org and then they had a series of repositories that kind of represented those projects. And so we're, what we do is we ask projects, however you're structured, whether it's at the org level or at the repo level, to include a DEI.MD file to represent how you're addressing these four particular metrics. And so we provide a few suggestions here on where you could place that file. So for example, if you have an org level folder called community, maybe put the DEI.MD file in community. Um, so you can, you can kind of put the file in, in any place that you think is most widely available to your project, however that project is structured. You then would go to a website, which we have um, just coming out of, we just finished the pilot on it, and you would submit the um, link to the, the link to the repo or the link to the DEI.MD file is what I should say. Or is it the repo? Anyway, we you submit the link to the repo. And then based on that submission, um, we do a quick scan to see if the DEI.MD file is present, number one. We do a quick scan to see if the headers are all there, you know, like it's well structured. So like you have you have a comment about if you scroll down a little bit, like you have comments on project access and you have comments on communication transparency and so on and so forth. So you, you, your DEI.MD file attends to these four metrics. And then we also check to make sure that it's not like just like nonsense that you've to <laughs> take in there, you know, just some, just some keystrokes to get the job done. Cat and so based on, <laughs> what's that? Cat walks across keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> and so based on those three, we issue you a bronze level badge. And so... That's really the best that we can do um, because it's really impossible for us to review the file at a human level just because of the volume of projects that may apply. Mm -hmm. and, and it's hard for us to, like, if you put something under, say, project access, it's hard for us to really say yes or no, you didn't do that. It's sometimes hard to kind of root those things. And so what we ask is that your community members kind of speak to whether or not you're doing what you say you're doing. And so we even, even in this guide file, we say something like if, if this DEI.MD file does not like realistically represent what your project is doing, please get in touch with your code of conduct team and let them know that, you know, claims around newcomer experience aren't really evident in the project. And you might want to address that in your DEI.MD file. I don't see in this documentation where you submit your project to be scanned. Oh, yeah, we would have to, somebody could put that in the chat. Um, but it should probably be in the documentation for it as I well, right? Could, yeah, because I think we was supposed to do that. <laughs> I feel like there, yeah. Was that you? I think that, did you put it in here, Matt? Uh, oh yeah, maybe I did it, but nobody merged. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I did it. I actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did it somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, we'll find it. Um, yes, we are going to do that because people may stumble across this, Rhea, that haven't seen the badging. Yeah. So, yeah you're right. That's a good point. I do. Have, there are two PRs in there. So, yeah, to, a to address that very issue because that did come up last week. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is in the template. I kind of forget which one I put it in. Yeah, we can find it. I'm sure it's somewhere. Any, anyway, we have we'll find it. Rhea, and we can somebody can add it in the in the chat as well. Yeah, we, um, I yeah, because I don't know. And so, well, yeah, and I mean, to so, to be clear too, like we have just kind of finished the pilot on this. You know, just to, does this work? <laughs> is this sensible? And does the workflow work? And we've been able to answer, I think, pretty affirmatively yes on that. At this point, we're really, um, it's about how do we do that next step now? And I think this is what we're sorting out a little bit. Like, how would we actually bring this to like production? 
so to speak, you know, out of pilot and into making it available for everybody. Um, there's nothing that would prevent a project at all from including the DEI.md file, you know, in their repositories to talk about these things. Um, are you looking for the link? I was, okay. and I, because I thought maybe it was below, because we did a demo last week, but there was no link there, so. Yeah, it's somewhere, we'll find, I'll find it during this meeting. Um, so there's nothing right now, Rhea, that would prevent you from including a DEI.md file for your projects. That'd be great. I think it's still great even without badging, just because it can represent the work that you're doing. Um, but I think it's that the actual mechanisms of applying and issuing the badge, we need to make sure that we can like offer that and offer it like so that it works <laughs> all the time out into the future. And we're we're still kind of sorting that out. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Any other comments, questions, anything around project badging? All right, well, we are running super early. So is there anything else that folks have to add to the agenda? Now would be the time to do that. I'm looking forward to the learning modules. I keep intermittently trying to do something with chaos and grimoire and auger and I get started and I spend about two hours on it and then I get pulled into something 10 other directions and I abandon it and then I have to start all over from scratch again four months later when I try to go back to it. So maybe uh, maybe a learning module will help me stick with it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I I think since we talked last Rhea, just as an aside, there is a public instance of Augur available. I can send you the link for that. Cool. Yeah, and, and that works much more smoothly. You have to learn less. I like it. I I'll, I, I really want to do this. <laughs> I just yeah. <laughs> have a dearth of time available to focus on it. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll send you some links and then uh, we can see how it goes. Awesome, thank you, Sean. Sure. I see Anita's on the call now. I hate to like be that person that keeps the meeting going, but Anita, did you have any further comments on that metric we were talking about? No, there were no further um, comments or feedback on the metric. So is it ready to go, do you think? Well, I think it's ready to go. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just put an action item, I guess, for me, I, I don't even remember what the process is now. Um, I can publish it. Uh, you, uh, will you do me a favor and open an issue in the community web, uh, repo that just says, hey, this is ready to go. And then I can take it from there. Is that okay? That's for you, Anita. Okay. I, cause I Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I think we lost you. I think you were talking and we couldn't hear you. Um, yeah. So that'd be great. And that way I don't forget. Okay. I mean, I still might forget, but it'll be less likely that I forget. So. Sure. We'll open one. Great. Okay. Well, I don't think we had anything else then. So yeah. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy Thank this. You. 15 minutes you get back and we'll see you here same time same place next week hopefully we'll see you Thank back you. bye everybody bye bye